Gaming Gaming. So welcome back everybody to episode 4 of our F1 2012 career mode. And so today we're at the Bahrain Grand Prix. We are in second place and we lost out pole position by 110. So let's get started. Five your lights and we really got out. Got a pretty good start that time. I'm gonna go down and set our juice. <laughs> yeah, let's just cut out turn one. Just take the Maldonado line. Let's just take the Maldonado line. <laughs> let's just not even follow the actual racing line. So yeah, so this is my second attempt to record this video because on the first attempt, I had to cut it out a bit early, around lap 11. And I now know that where I can improve from that part to this, from that attempt to this attempt. Because like, on lap, on lap 11, uh, it was raining quite hard, heavily. And uh, I made a big mistake of not boxing for inters, because I thought that I could make it to the end of the race on guys. But I was just aquaplaning a lot, which basically means I had no grip at all. And so, yeah, it made the race almost impossible. So yeah, so 14 laps ahead of us, 25% race. You have to be very careful with how much curve we take on that third, on the, on the entrance to the third sector, because if we take too much curve, then we'll spin out, and that's not good. So. Yeah, so my main strategy in this track, since it's a very power-hungry track, is just front. Anyway, so our engineer is telling us that we have white rain in about five minutes. Anyway, so my strategy is to just block off everybody on the streets and do not let anybody get through. Because this is this is not a strong track. I mean, it's strong for me in the terms of I know what I'm doing, but it's not good because I'm going to get swamped by other cars because they just have better engines, lower drag, and, you know, all that stuff. So, I have to be very wary of cars behind. Shoot. I got that one wrong. I got that really wrong. I'm still trying to get used to this combination with this car. I mean, it's an, Bahrain's an okay track for me. It's not one of my best tracks. It's not like China or say, uh, Malaysia. Those are my best tracks because I, they're just so full and fast train. And that's kind of what I like is not too technical courses. So basically, I'm not good at Monaco at all. I'm not good at any street circuit. I'm decent at Valencia. That's because it's not really that much of a street circuit. More than just like an overly drawn out circuit. I'm gonna bump that up to Rich Mix. We're just trying to go around our outside, but we're not gonna let him pass. Yeah, so just block off everybody. Rosberg got in the fastest lap. Dang! He's almost two seconds down our best lap. Dang. Rosberg's playing out all the stops, really. Yeah, I, I remember in the, in the first run to try through of this race was that everybody, like, you, anybody could get the fastest lap. If you're in the subshoot of another car you, and you drove well, you had a very good shot of getting the fastest lap. At one point, the Force India, which is basically a car that's around, that's a bit better than the Toro Rosso, they were able to get, one of their drivers is able to get the fastest lap. So it's, it's really anybody's game as to who. It's just like, as long as you drive well, get DRS and slipstream, and don't do what I just did right there, you have a good chance of getting the fastest lap. So 
So apparently we also got an engine upgrade at the last track, at the last race. And I kind of feel it. Not really that much, but I do feel it. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying on like the first lap. I have to be very careful how much curve we take. My lines are really bad right now. Oh jeez, and these guys have DRS or not. So like, let's just push it down the middle. <coughs> We almost kill Hamilton in the process. Oh, that's not really meant to push. Yeah, so that's basically my main strategy here. Is just try and cut off everybody on the main streets. On the streets. It's like you try to oh geez. Yeah, that, that's that's what I meant by we have to be very careful with these curves. Otherwise, this is gonna happen. So you just barely took too much curve there, and yeah. So you have to be a lot more careful with how much curve you take, on, especially on this curve. So basically the moral of this track is just stay away from the curves. Don't touch them at all. Because they're positioned at such a way that if you try to get back on the, on the track, you're not going to have a good time because they're just tiered. They have like, there's like two curves in one, so they mess up the balance of your car if you try to get on top of them. So they're decent for braking on, but they're not good for turning on, so. I've already got a bit of a breakaway, so. Yeah, this section is pretty, I have to be very careful. Yeah, it's starting to rain as well. Yeah, that, I mean, I was very close to spinning out there. My rears were already screeching a bit. Switch over to Rich Mix. Wow, we're a second up on the pace. Well, let's see if it even stands. Oh no, it doesn't stand. So our engineer says that we, there's some light rain, but we're not really gonna see that rain until around lap eight. Well, I'm still gonna pit for the drives because there's about a four lap lag, it's a four lap gap between when the engineer says that there's going to be rain and then like around lap eight it starts raining and then on lap ten that's when you need to get, that's when we need to get on the inters. So yeah, I'm going to take what he said about there being rain with a pinch of salt right now. So, give me some rich mix through here. Oh, we got a size of gap. And so right now we're in the championship fight with only two, we only have 50 points turning, but with those two wins, the two back-to-back -back wins, we're actually able to start take the lead of the championship. Oh, so. and guys, we will be starting a new thing, a new thing called YouTuber of the Week. So we just... We just um we we just say who's who's the we just say which YouTuber is we just say the YouTuber's name well no no it's just our fault well, never mind never mind <laughs> let me say this again um we're gonna start doing a new thing called YouTuber of the week so it's about you.
Yeah. So, comment down below if you want to be featured on the very first episode of YouTuber of the week. All right. So anyway, back to the race. We have a pit stop coming up on this lap, and uh, I'm gonna, and there we go. We it's starting to rain. It is starting to rain. So yeah, this is what he said. There might be a few droplets of rain between now and the next two laps, but it's not until lap eight that we really start feeling the effects of actual rain. Michael Schumacher is up on the podium. He was leading the shoot. Yeah, that's all, that's all I was saying about the curbs, is that don't cry them down. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, see? I just ran a lot a little too wide and then that just unsettled the car. Yeah, the tires are pretty bad. We got about a two second gap to Hamilton behind. Alright, so now we're going down to the next one. There's Hamilton's crew. A lot of activity in the pit lane at the moment. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh. Remember to stay the white All right, it's starting to rain now. Like I said, it's starting to rain. Oh, actually, it's raining a bit earlier. You have no more scheduled pit stops, so look after your tires. Now, you're wrong, Andy. We still have one more pit stop to do, and that's for the interest. We'll be able to pass them by the next lap because they're, probably, they're, going, to be, they're going to pin in this lap. It's starting to rain. It's just light at the moment, but if it worsens, we'll need to switch to inches or wet. You have a four second gap to the car behind. Four seconds. Alright, so seeing that Schumacher has been able to jump Hamilton in the pits, which is pretty good because Hamilton was actually kind of catching us up. So we have to start being a lot more careful now because because the rain's gonna start making the ground the the, tr the road a lot more slippery and so we're not gonna have as much grip anymore and we got, we're gonna have to be careful around this track. Not really gonna start feeling the effects until around midway point of lap eight, but it's still gonna be there. Yeah, there's a lot of activity in the pit lane right now. Our data showing that the car ahead might be into the conservation mode. Time will be slower than normal. There we go, we are down first place. So effectively, Weber was able to catch us up. Hamilton Sort of, kind of did the overcut, but we were still, we were still able to do the undercut, and we were under, we were able to undercut him, which basically means because we pit, we pit before he did, we were able to come out in front of him, which we were before, but we have a bit of an advantage. Well, he has technically the advantage right now because he has no tires, but we we're gonna have to push away. So the track's starting to get worse. So I'm sorry for start speaking less. It's because I'm trying to concentrate 
on my on my racecraft because we see we only have six more laps to go and I really don't want to lose it on the last couple of laps. Yeah, the rain is starting to come down even harder now. So, uh, it's almost time for the crossover period. It's pretty much the cross, which basically means that some cars are going to be on drives like me, and then some cars are going to be on inters. You cannot get the car to stop there. Alright, so Hamilton is not going into the pits. I was trying to I was trying to see if he was gonna go into the pits or not, but he did not. So yeah. So that was a bit of a strategical move. Because I wanted to see if Hamilton went in, as I already said. But that was a big mistake that I made because I assumed that everybody was gonna stay out on lap 10, but I don't know. Oh shoot. We had a bit of a frame drop there. Yeah, this it's inter time. All right, before we do anything, I'm gonna see what tires everybody's on, if anybody's on the inters. Nobody on the inters yet, that's odd. Yeah, I'm, I'm going over to the inters. I'm going to intentionally let Hamilton go. He's not going into the pits. So, nobody's gone into the pits yet. And I know that I can overtake them into the turn, into the pits. Let me box them in. Yeah, boy. See? Alright, so, yeah, we have, I think, soon, <coughs> like, probably this lap, we're probably going to put in for the inters. So we're doing that at the moment. Alright, so I really 
really don't know if I should go on to the Inter Gym. So I think I'll do what I did again at the end of the last lap, which is let Hamilton through and then see if what where he goes. Because if he goes into the pits, I'll follow him. And I'm pretty sure I can. And I, I know that I can go past. I'm trying to see if they're pitting or not. And they're not pitting yet. And now it's starting to get spray. None of these guys are pitting yet, so neither shall we. doing good right now. You have to be very careful on the throttle. Alright. So we're doing good right now. We are in the midst of battle between Hamilton and Button. And this is very scary stuff. I really want to pit in for interviews, but it's not going to be worth it. We're just going to have to stick it out on the drives. To which time we'll be lost if we pit in. Well, I don't know why they, get, why they put in originally. I mean, for my first attempt, for whatever reason. Oh, jeez. The rear end is starting to step out. Yeah, this is starting to become a battle of attrition. It's basically whoever can lead the best. Come on, Hamilton. Get past me. Now you want to cast me. There you go. They're not going in. Oh, they're going in. They're going in. Okay, we're in. Come on, get on interest, get on interest, get on interest. Yes, we're on interest. Go, 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 come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Everybody else paid in, so I think, I think that's the right move. All right. We're in P4, we've, we've jumped everybody else. Oh my goodness. The race DRS has been disabled. Alright, so I think he can still win the race. Because Maldonado is... Maldonado is pretty much a sitting duck in front of us. This is... This is very scary stuff. This is very scary stuff. Very scary. I'm, tell, I'm telling Gabriel... This is very I'm scary stuff. I'm telling Gabriel that, that he needs to stop the next box so Gabriel wants to. So let's go. David, I have two more laps. Do you want me to win the race or not? I really don't know who's in front. Who's in front? Rossberg. Uh, yeah, so basically we might be off the podium, but we're still gonna win. We're still gonna get a massive point. Yeah, 
I don't think anybody else is putting in. Alright, we got one more lap. Two more minutes of racing, and then we're getting out. I don't think Duress is going to be able to pull anything on us, so I think this is where we're pretty much sitting. Unless Maldonado slows down massively. No, we just wondered. I think it just got on the accelerator a little too long. No. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Front breaking. No, I didn't mean neutral. I meant to put it in front. This is very stressful. The rain is coming down even harder now. Oh man, if only we hadn't run out of course. Alright. Not yet, I'm almost done. Almost there. Almost there. This is our last flashback, so if we mess up again, it's game over. Yeah, we took way too aggressive line through there. That's it, we lost. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Freak. Oh my gosh. We lost. Oh. oh my god. No points. That was... Very... Very sad. Very sad day in the office. What? What happened? I just spun out. I don't know what's happening. The but front Eva, why are you flashbacks? I already have. I have no flashbacks. You don't think we're gonna win? Nope. You're fine. I'm not too. That was. That was sad. Um, I think we should have gone for the wets. Still in first place. Still in first. Let's see the people. Yeah, we, it, that was that was not a good race. You know. He's very sad. Yeah. Wait, look. Oh well. Alright, well. Let's see the Peter Salver. Alright. Team challenge data. Winning. I lost 16 places. Alright, so that's been this episode of the F1 2012 Career Mail, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.